welcome back to another episode of Sword Art Online or Alfheim Online Let's Play. Where we last left off is we did the advanced dungeon. So if you do a dot in chat, you can see that we are advanced Spurigan, which is really nice, really nice. Um, as you can also see, I have a lot more hearts than I had last episode. I think uh, when I did the dungeon last episode, I had around 43 hearts. And I currently have 61 now, which is, wow. I've been training a lot like uh, my goal is to get at least one heart per day but I've been training for the past two days because I went to a uh, going up's house and uh, yeah but anyways uh, Linny also became advanced just two days ago on f Friday night but it was like Saturday morning really early but um what I want to do this oh wait before we continue um, I haven't done much with this house. I just added this staircase. I'm not really sure what I showed last episode, but made the staircase, uh, took away the chest. I joined the Tecro Guild, so if I do slash Team HQ, we are here at the Techromancy place where you can fill out an application, not going to show cords. Well, actually, I sh could show cords, but I'm not really sure, so just in case I'm not. There's a person named Go Nude who's right next to me in my name. Uh, so you can fill out an application, go here. And you are here at the Tecro Guild awesome place. And if you go straight, this is where you can buy steak for $5 and meat for 10 I believe. But, uh, yeah. And if we do... S I do have another homestead now. My other homestead, if I do slash home 2, I am at Gonub's place. So, I never showed Gonub's new house. Neither am I going to show Quartz because he doesn't want anyone knowing where he lives. Because he's trying to make a big town for both him and Grumpy. Which is his girlfriend, if you didn't know. But if we go up here, this is Gonub's original house. I don't know why, like, my frames just lowered. But this is Gonub's house. Looks pretty fancy. I remember them building this. And he's been building this on stream, which was before. So it says, Welcome Home, which is just for Gonub and Grumpy. Uh, I think I'm the only one with a home set here other than those two. Uh, if we go down... As you could see, we have these stuff. Like, this is a little minecart pathway. I don't know where this leads, actually. I think this leads to uh, just some some room. I forgot. What, I think it's the brewing room or something. Like, they're trying to make some kind of awesome town community here. Yeah, like, see over here? I don't know. But then there's, like, a, a rollback. Uh, what was it? Protection stone rollback where if things were new, everything was gone. So, if you placed a, a stone recently, then your protected area is not protected like his entire island here wasn't uh protected anymore so yeah he had to redo that so if we go over here you get some nice stuff some nice stuff so look at all this and he's just building a road for the actual town here he has a beach here which is pretty nice so we should uh respect the beach and go here hello hey play insert music here spongebob music or something we're at the beach. Oh, am I kawaii desu yet? Uh, kawaii? No? Okay. Aww. <laughs> but yeah, here's a little sand castle there. A little shop here. Except these are expensive because you're not... Oh, inactive. You're not really supposed to buy anything there. It's just there for decoration. And yeah, it's like a whole beach. But that's not what I want to do this episode. So I have the follower with me because I'm training my axes. But if we do slash spawn, uh, everything's the same. Uh, no PvP Spriggs in Spawn. Exile, Natsu, and Spy Luke, Lunker. Uh, Didgis still hasn't done the Advanced Dungeon. So far, I've done it. Advanced, advanced to good Spriggins. Me, uh, Fry Devourer. <laughs> it's supposed to be French Fry Devourer, but okay. And then we got Sorlin, second advanced tapped glasses or taped glasses. I don't know. I think it's taped. But uh, if we go down, I could show you what Laney built to help out spawn. So uh, I don't know what they're doing down here. Um, if I didn't show this, Didgis, for his advance for building, he rebuilt this shop and made it out of a cake, the bakery. And if we go straight here, Linny has made a magic carp. And there's fire. <laughs> Linny has made a magic carp. And if we go inside, she sells fish. And if we look at the water, it has Golden Lips face. But uh, it's not really a tradition. I'm trying to like rush this because I want to get on with the actual episode. But uh, if we go over here, obviously it's the Yoshi egg. But there's something new that another Spriggan put over here for his advanced requirements. 
Except they're supposed to make a piston, but Gunna made this. But they said they're going to redo and just do a piston somewhere else. So right now, this is just here. It's a redstone pixel art. Nothing inside. Just... Oh! There's a Gunna head now. That's new. <laughs> and uh, obviously, we have the Yoshi egg, which I don't know if it's ever going to be re refilled or not. Nah, probably not. <laughs> okay. Got that done with. Now with the actual episode. So now that I have done Advanced and the Dungeon Flame Empress, I'm probably going to do that as an event with me, Gonub, and Linny. What I want to do now, this is my head collection by the way. What I want to do now is go to Aelwyn. Right? Aelwyn? Yeah. No, not Aelwyn. Vale. I want to go to Vale and start doing their quests. So if you don't know what Vale is, it's like a little carnival. It's really nice, really nice. And before I started recording, I should have looked at all these quests. I did before, but I kept getting disturbed by people. And this was a long time ago when we were messing around. Uh, they put me down here. There's a hole here. There, we were messing around. Then I told them to put a hole for me here, so I'm actually dead. But that was back when I had 20-something hearts. I don't know. So let's talk to some people and see if I can find a decent quest. So let's talk to Epsilon. Can you help me? Yes. Uh, kill 50 uh, quests quit because I will do that later. That will take longer than an episode. Sakuya. Uh, red roses. Oh, this isn't bad. So if we go slash home one, I have a, a stack of red roses. But the problem is, where am I going to get the yellow roses? So that's done. Iron farm. Love you. Uh, I'm refilling the villagers, uh, except people keep buying it out, which is pretty annoying. Alright, I guess I gotta get some dandelions. So yeah, how are you all doing? Doing pretty well, you know. i just been uh, doing stuff. My school being weird. Almost at the end of the school year. And things are happening already with my school. It's pretty weird. <laughs> Where's all these dandelions? Gotta fly and look for dandelions. By the way, if I sound tired, it's because it's like 4 a.m. Uh, there's still people on for some reason, but it's 4 a.m. <laughs> uh, you know, just trying to get my uh, ALO episodes in before a bunch of people are on and the server starts lagging, and I don't want that. No one wants to see a laggy video of me being in so much lag and recording a video. I have to get a pots too. So what I could do about the pots part is I can place down a bunch of mead. If you don't know what mead is, it's, uh, it's a beverage, I believe. And it gives you, uh, what is it? Uh, it gives you nausea, so I might skip that part, but I'll show, like, getting the meat, because I do have meat in my sh in weenie hut. Like, all these mobs. Jeez. Yeah, and I mostly train at the end, so Linny trains in my dark room. Lin so that's why Linny has a, a lot of money, as to me being not as much money as I used to with 8 mil. Because of getting gold for advanced and buying everything else. So I'm sad. I think I only have like 2.7, 2.8. Then we do Bal, Sorlin. She has 6. Oh, I guess she spent some money. I thought she had 7 mil or 8 mil. Guess not. Leave me. Leave Kaz alone. Okay. Got a stack. Don't need this. And now we're going to go to Weenie Hut. So if I do slash C recall. Boom, I'm here. God damn it, I gotta get these villagers. Because, uh, did just try to pull a prank on me by putting villagers all around my place because I egg the horse church. But it's actually good in my favor because I put them in a hole and I can get my Kate Sith other alt account. And because my other alt, he's gone, sadly. So I can just get a stack here from my original shop. And I just place all these down and then I can break it. But I'm going to do that in my home one because of uh, I don't want people around me getting it. So if we place one mead, I'm going to put this here. We, we get nausea. Oh no, it's not here anymore. No. Oh no. This is bad. This is gonna, th that is bad. It doesn't place pots. Oh. I guess I'll... Uh, we are back as soon as I figure out how to make these pots. And I'll be back with you guys. Ooh. 
All right, I am back and I got the fire pots. So instead, I made them myself, and all I did was get a bunch of clay. I broke into those little clay balls and I smelted them. And since I didn't have coal, I had to use wood, so I need to go get more coal. But uh, yeah, let's go back. To oh, that's Alfine build. I thought I, got I was getting ready for everything and I grabbed the wrong crystal. That's embarrassing. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we have everything, I hope. So I have to deliver them to Sakuya, who was over here, if I remember correctly. So uh have some red flowers. Here you go. Here you go. Boom. So we got 23 quest points and 10,000 money. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, Yuki from SAO2. How you doing? Deliver the absolute sword to Yuki. Okay, quests quit because no one knows. Guess I can't do that quest. So, so far, we only got one down. And there's a bunch of quests I could do here at Katano. And I believe if I do all these quests, I could get like this special magic. Gonop has this one fire element that he could use. So, I don't know what I'm going to pick. I need to know the choices, which I don't know. Let's talk to Vab. My boy, can you help me? Or uh, can you help? Can you help you help me find your, my boy? <sighs> sure. Where's Miko? Miko. Uh. Where's Miko? I need to do some of these off camera because I I do believe that there's one quest where I have to look for uh. Or no, I don't have to look, but I have to catch a stack of fish, which I don't want to do on camera. I'll do that off camera because I don't think you guys want to watch me fish. Tunnel of Love, are you in here? Miko? Miko, I mean. Nope. Alright, so if I did cut off here, uh, I couldn't find Miko. Like, I'm asking, but they're talking about something else, so they didn't really see what I'm typing. So, we'll talk to Seraphim. Uh, Vampire's Ninja, I need some help with some ghouls. Tokyo ghoul? Oh, this is not that hard, but I have to do this off camera because I don't think you guys want to see me kill a bunch of mobs. Uh, unless you guys want to, I guess, I don't know. I might as well do it. <laughs> like, why not? This is training. So, uh, at this point, I don't know if you guys want to watch me kill mobs or not. Uh, I'll be killing some mobs. Mostly focused on uh, zombies and skellies. Like here. To do this off camera, most of it. This is just like um, that one quest I had to do, uh, guard the city, I believe. So, uh, yeah, where's all the mobs? So, I don't know if I showed you guys, but Gunna made this bigger because he needed stone. So, yeah, and Lenny trains here. Uh, okay, I'm still <coughs> looking for mobs. So, I uh, went to watch Unfriended. Well, by the time this is uploaded, it's already been a while, but, uh, last, sorry about that, uh, last Saturday, I went to go watch Unfriended with, uh, Linny, Gonub, his sister, and his sister's girlfriend, or not, not his girl, her girlfriend, her sister's boyfriend, and Gonub's girlfriend, so it was the six of us, went to watch Unfriended, and we had quite a story, not sure if I should talk about what happened or not. It's nothing serious, but it's pretty funny. But, uh, I guess I can. It's not that bad. Uh, it was rated R, and since it was the opening show, so we saw it on Friday night. There we go. So, since it just came out that day, and it's rated R, uh, they were looking for IDs, and you have to be 17 or older to watch the movie. So, uh, I'm 15, if you didn't know, and I'm supposed to turn 16 on April 28th. So, that's my birthday, if you guys are wondering. And yes, it is really close by to my birthday. <laughs> but, um, what they did was, uh, they bought one ticket online, and then, uh, they bought five for themselves. And then, gonna abuse the one ticket. I don't know what's up with my throat. Uh, he used one ticket on him, and then the five for me. Then we got inside, and everything was swell. We waited for like about an hour playing cards. Something wrong with my throat. 
I don't know if you guys could hear it, but if my voice changes, then I apologize. But, um, as soon as we got in, we were waiting an hour, we are just playing cards while I was on my phone for most of the time, and then I started joining in with the card games. And then, um, uh, the movie was about to start for our time for 9.30, and then, um, they asked for IDs again, and we were kind of in trouble, or we were kind of in a... We're in some trouble for me to get in the movie because obviously if I showed my ID or whatever They would know how old I'm actually am and you know, I wouldn't be able to go watch the movie so um luckily uh, Gun up sister He knew one of the workers Or she knew one of the workers and uh, He just they said hi to each other and since he knows her He, he knew how old they were and then, as soon as me and Lynn were about to go in, uh, he asked if we were with them, and yet they said yes. So we got to go in the movie, and we got to watch Unfriended. <laughs> and uh, it was a pretty good movie. I liked it. Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, but I'm not going to spoil anything in case you guys are going to watch Unfriended. It's a good movie. Uh, but yeah, covering our ears so we wouldn't get scared. It was mostly... Me, Linny, Gonub, and Gonub's sister that were covering our ears, and then like looking every now and then. And then there was a uh, uh, Gonub's sister's boyfriend, then Gonub's girlfriend, who was looking, watching the entire movie, not closing their ears, laughing at us as we were watching the movie. And uh, I don't know if I addressed this before, but I don't usually watch scary movies. It's mostly at home, so. It was actually my first time watching a scary movie in the theater, so it's uh, pretty new to me. <laughs> uh, I'm not really a big fan of scary movies. Like I do watch some, but not a lot. So it was a good experience to be watching <laughs> a scary movie in theater, just getting to know. But it was so weird because I was the youngest since I was since I'm 15, and everyone was like pretty much overaged. But I, I'm pretty sure most of those people were, were as well, um, not even 17. Because uh, Gun Up's sister, I don't know if I even, if I should say her name if, if she wants me to or not, I don't know. But uh, she knew one of the people. Uh, I can't really get much into detail about that due to some problems. But she knew, she knew one of the people. And she said that they were about the same age as Lin, who's 17, a junior. But, you know, Lynn's born in December, so, uh, they were probably around 16 still? Maybe about to turn 17? Don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's our little, that's my little story of the movie we went to on Friday night. The opening show of, well, not really the opening, there was another show, but, of the movie Unfriended. So, so I'm not going to spoil anything, but I did enjoy the movie, even though it was a horror, and I'm not really used to watching horror movies, so, uh, yeah, thumbs up to me, woo, watch the horror, yeah, new experiences, but, um, I guess I'm about to end the episode here, I will finish this up, and in the next episode, we will continue on some quests, or probably by then, I'd probably be finished with some quests, I'm probably going to do the off-camera killing 50 players because the last time I did that for 30, I believe, that was pretty difficult because not many people were on. And when I tried to do everyone, even the redos, uh, it kept my Sunny Vegas, my editing, it kept crashing and it was so annoying that at the point I was about to like give up on that episode, but I was like, nope, not going to do it. I care about you guys. So what I did was uh, I had to convert it with Movie Maker. So that's why the quality was bad. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to the last episode where I finished up the quest chain of Katano. I think it was like Killing the King or something. But uh, yeah, you could tell on like some parts it was bad quality because I had to render that in Window Maker. And that's how I was able to make it work. But uh, I'm going to end the episode here, so let's go back home. And I didn't do the interior because I got lazy. I apologize. Like in here, and that. it's a big house. Don't know. Like I'm planning on putting the kitchen there. 
Uh, I don't know about here. I still got to do this because I ran out of glass. Uh, put my bedroom here and all that other fun stuff. But I uh, hope you all enjoyed this episode of Sword Art Online or Alpha I'm Online Let's Play. If you did, make sure to leave a like. It'll let me know you want more. Comment down below what you thought and subscribe if you're new to the channel with me and my arrows. But anyways, my name is Kazuto. Let me get naked for you all. And I will see you guys all again next time. And a goodbye.